every time I think I'm out, they suck me back in. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Man, I thought I was out of the Eagles content business because we haven't seen Eagle fans in so long that they have literally disappeared. I'm, I kid you not. I literally thought I had six, only six <clears throat> Eagle fans that were watching. But <clears throat> as soon as they got a victory and the Dallas Cowboys got a loss, you know they'd be right back here, right back here looking for that Eagles content. And here it is. I, I, I'm giving you what you want, man. I give you what you ask for. And Eagle fans, welcome back. You got back on this side with the victory over the New York stinking Giants. A game at home. At home. And you look like ass ass. But, you know, it's okay. Because I know you guys will just say, well, it was just a couple of fluke plays. You know, the pick six wasn't really a pick six, even though Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. I, I was, I, okay, look. I'll be honest with you, because I know you guys are saying Mark stopped watching because we were kicking ass. Well, be that. That was true. It was 20 to 3 at the halftime, and it seemed like you guys were going away. But I had my kids. My daughters were both here, okay? We had some crab legs. We had shrimp. We had a uh, sausage. We had some lobster tails. We had some corn. We had potatoes. We had some limes, and we were doing a crab boil for Christmas. That's right. We had a non-traditional Christmas dinner, and I'm going to tell you, it's not as good. As, now, it was good, but there's a place in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I found out there's also one in Charlottesville, Virginia, and it's called Juicy. It's called Juicy Seafood, and my God, oh my God. It comes to you, 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 you go through and you, you, you pick out what you want. You get the crab legs, you know, you can get shrimp, you can get king crab legs, you know, you can get sausage, you can get uh, crawfish. You, you pick what you want to go in your bag and depending on what you put in it, the more it costs, okay? It ain't cheap, but oh my God, it comes in a bag, in a bag, okay? It's got air in it and you open that thing up and it just says, just say say, because it's like the steam and the smell of those crab legs, those shrimp, that sausage that's got that little kick to it. And it's good. And I said, you know what? You know what? I said, my daughter, she can't do like she she, she doesn't do like like dairy. So I was trying to figure out what to do for dinner because I was coming home yesterday and they had that stuff on sale. Crab legs, six ninety nine a pound. Yeah, they had four lobster tails for $20. Four lobster tails. So I'm like, we can go with crab boil. And so instead of watching that shit sandwich game, I said, I'm going to go upstairs. We're going to get this crab boil on and stuff. And I turn on the TV. Next thing I know, the Giants, it's, it's 20 to 10. And I'm watching the television. And here's Jalen Hurts. He throws a pass that's an out that should have been a pick six. And definitely wasn't the same damn play it looked like again, and it was a pick six. So I know Eagle fans are trying to help themselves sleep better tonight because they're just saying, oh, they were just fluke plays. They don't really count. Okay, whatever you say, whatever you say, guys, if you say it was just a fluke play, then a fluke play it was. Be that as it may. It's not the same in Eagle Land right now. Nick Sirianni seems to be having lost his mojo. You saw him lose his, lose his cool on the sidelines there. J.J. Reddick came off the field. He's screaming, get back on the field, get back on the field. He's yelling at his coaches. You see A.J. Brown biting his lip. And all of a sudden, the greatest move in football that was A.J. Brown trade now, A.J. Brown, when it came to the press conference, didn't speak. And his reason was, because there's nothing good to say. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. I want y'all to think about this for a second. 
you were, you are the team. You just took back over the lead in the NFC East. You now control your destiny for winning said NFC East. All you got to do is win the next two games, and you are guaranteed at least one home playoff game. At least one. Actually, I think, no, two. Two. You're pretty much guaranteed two playoff games. And you still now have, because San Francisco lost a chance for home field advantage. You're a team that last year was in the Super Bowl. You're a team that's got double-digit wins. You're a team that just got a win when you could have had a loss. You're a team that you could say, hey, we had adversity tonight. We've been, you know, in a slump. We've been in a slump. But we turned the shit around, and we found a way to win when we weren't playing our best. That this could be a launching point for us to get back on track. Right? Those are all the things that you would think could be said after a victory where... You lead your division. You got a chance at home field advantage throughout. You're a team that was in the Super Bowl last year. And you're saying, you literally say, there is nothing good to say? Woo-wee. Hmm. Well, I will say this. It seems like <clears throat> things are not good in Eagle Land. Yes, you got the victory, but the Eagles don't look anywhere near where they were last year. Nick Sirianni is looking more and more like a fraud who doesn't know what he's doing and so on, but hey. What do I know? I am just a fan of the Dallas Cowboys, and we know the Cowboys are just chokers, and we just lose in the playoffs because, you know, if we had just had any quarterback other than Dak Prescott, we'd win the Super Bowl every year because that's what they always tell us, and we know nothing's ever wrong on the Internet. It's always right on the internet. Whew. But I'm going to say, <laughs> nothing makes me happier than dysfunction with the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> Eagle fans, I'm back! Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I know I am. And uh, we may have lost to the Miami Dolphins, a team that the Eagles did beat. And I will give you that. But, but, we didn't look quite as bad as the Eagles did winning against the New York Giants. An Eagle team that, whew, you look like y'all got some real problems. Our problems can be solved by two things. Getting Tyron Smith back and getting Hankins back. If we can get fortunate enough to have that happen in the playoffs, you're telling me that the Eagles are struggling against the New York Giants? The New York Giants? Um, I will say... Yeah, I'm ready for the playoffs to go on the road to your house. Hope you guys are having a good one. Got a lot of work to do between now and 6 a.m. tomorrow before I got to jet up out of here and get back to the Red Brick house. 
So, this is how we do it. Na 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 na. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. Party is here on the west side. So I reach for my 40 and I pull it up. <clears throat> Designated driver's got the keys to my truck. Yeah, it's like that, and that's the way it is. All right, peace.